to It's a Palm Life. We adopted Bami Wu and Bella Wu on December 3rd, 2018. And at first, the rescue organization, her name is Judy, the, or, the rescue organization called Hope Rescue out of Erie, Pennsylvania. We drove about one and a half hours, uh, partly in the snow, to go and, and get them. And when we arrived, Bella just looked so skittish and afraid and, and like she was abused mentally and physically. She, she would jump and she would not stay near me. She would, not, she would not come near me. And the person in charge at Hope Rescue, Judy, put Bella on my lap. That's how, and she had, she had to do it quickly so that Bella wouldn't really notice. Uh, and Bella didn't bite me or anything. She didn't growl at me. She just sat on me and I, I carried her. And it was a very, very slow process. How did we train them so that Bella wasn't afraid and Bammy wasn't so wasn't wouldn't bark as much because Bammy was really really actively barking a lot and he has cut down on his barking and how did we do how did we do our part in helping Bammy Wu and Bella Boo? Well, first for Bella Bella Boo, we added Boo to her name because she was so so scared. And that's in memory of how afraid she was. And she was really afraid. And how we managed to make her more relaxed is the little things. For example, we would turn her on the microwave and not hesitate to have different kind of noises around Bella because she had to get accustomed. And the second thing that we did was to, we took her outside a lot and she would get used to, very slowly she'd get used to different sounds like cars going by or birds outside because she really, really was afraid. She was so afraid that she would creep while walking. It was very, very odd behavior, but I was patient with her. But she would creep very, very slowly outside. I could tell she was not used to, to being outside or being exposed to different sounds. And that's what I did. I worked very, very gradually on that taking her outside. And the third thing that we did to slowly acclimate Bella to more sounds was I'd also play some very soft music because that way she could sense that, oh, that maybe the sound is calming and very soothing. And the third thing that I used was bones. At first, and I mentioned this in another video, at first Bella would really attack, not to the point where she bit my hand, but when I handed her a bone, she would grab it very, very aggressively. And I slowly made, had her, I slowly conditioned her to accept the bone from my hand without hurting my hand. Because she would, she would nip at my finger, not to the point where she'd hurt me, but I made sure gradually that she knew that to grab the bone, not grab my, my finger. And that really helped a lot. The fourth thing that we did to train our rescue dogs is we paid for a three month training program where the trainers work, worked with both Bami Wu and Bella Wu and they trained, it was a female team of dog trainers. And I think that really, really, that helped a lot. It was $400 for two months. And it was one-on-one -on -one with them working with the two trainers. That really, cause, because they're professional dog trainers, they had the experience. So we did invest approximately $400 
for a three month program because Bamiwo and Belabu were not like my other rescue dogs. I adopted five cats and three other rescue dogs. All of them were Pomeranians who were abandoned, abused, and neglected. And Bamiwo and Belabu were different in that they just were not used to, to humans or with other dogs. So what we did was we, we paid for professional dog training and it helped. About, I would, if I had to quantify it, it would be 40% helpful. I would still do it again because when you want, because they are professionals and when I want or need help, I go to professional and that's what I did. They were excellent dog trainers. They trained them for three months. So for about 90 days, it was at their home and they were able to focus. When Bami Wu and Bella Boo came home, came back to our house, they were slowly changing. And it took time, it really takes time. If you do consider adopting, rescuing dogs, you really have to be patient and patience is very, is key. And some days there wasn't much improvement, but we never gave up on Bella Boo and Bami Wu. We just never gave up. Bami Wu was a little bit different because he was not afraid of, as Bella was. Bami was a very, more social than Bella. So we just did two main things working with Bami, and that is one, we would take him out for walks and to the dog park for physical activity because we have learned that walking and exercise does help to reduce aggression in dogs. So that's what we did with Bami and Bella too. But specifically for Bami, walking worked wonders for him. He's not as hyper as he used to be. He's not as aggressive to Bella as when we first rescued them. And the second thing with Bami that we did is also playing a very relaxing music, instrumental music throughout the house. And he's changed a lot. If you do rescue animals, sometimes what works for other dogs won't work for your rescue dog. But it's through uh, trial an error that you'll find out what works and it, all the all dogs all rescue dogs are different some have different they have a variety of temperaments they have varied history you know especially of abuse or neglect or abandonment so every dog is unique so that is what helped well anyway Here's some video footage of them relaxing on our 10 acres. We try to keep them busy and we try to also give them quiet time.
much for watching. Please help us with a YouTube algorithm by giving us a like. Click that like button and make sure to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. We do upload videos every week. Until our next update, thank you so much for watching. Bye.